How was your week? Yeah, you had a good week? Did you practice any of the recipes? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, this week, we're going to be talking about breakfast, okay, because breakfast is one of the most important meal of the day. Usually, we just eat the most bigger meal during the evening, right? But it's supposed to be in the morning, because that's when we need all the strength for the whole day. When we eat a big meal at night time, we go to sleep with our stomach full, just working, and we don't rest that good. And if we rest anyway, we're going to be still full in the morning. I mean, hungry in the morning. And then we need to eat the biggest meal that is going to give you all the power that you need for the day. If that don't happen, then we're going to end up like the way that you're going to see over here. By the way, we are really happy to see each one of you back. Let me see if I can make this work. We have to put it out there. This machine. Oh, okay. Like this. No, oh, it's just there. No, click it at there. see it on the first page over there too. Okay, the seven day diet has seven principles of total health. And there are the seven principles. Eat a good breakfast, cut out empty and refined calories, increase fruits and vegetables, go low on fat, the fast, exercise, and program your mind for success. So those things we're going to be learning during the classes, but today we're going to talk about eat a good breakfast. Do you all eat a good breakfast? I'm going to show you some breakfast that you might say, yes, that's a good breakfast I've been eating. You don't see it that good over there. Eat a good breakfast. There, you're going to see, uh, it's not, it's, on this side over here, you're going to see this kind of cereal, mm -hmm. fruits, and the fruits over there, muffins over here, more fruit, and then maybe on the, on the top of there is some other kind of uh, food that is, that could be like rice or millet or any oatmeal or whatever like that, or anything that can be heavy on the stomach. That's a good meal. You can have in the morning any kind of fruit that you want to, but try to eat the fruit before anything else. But before getting up in the morning, when you get up in the morning, the best thing that you can do is get a glass of water, lemon, and if you do a they put them in the microwave or warm the water and the, the stuff or whatever, it's a lot better. So your stomach don't get scared when you receive that cold water. <laughs> okay? If you do that every day, you're going to feel really, really, really good. Let's see. Okay. There, that's a good breakfast too. Healthy breakfast. Um, you have uh, pancakes, and the pancake, if you get a, a syrup that you put in there, don't buy that syrup that is corn syrup. Buy this kind that say 100% pure maple syrup. You can just use a little bit in there, and it's so sweet and nice, but it's healthier than anything else. Or you make your own, your own, uh, syrup, uh, 
cream or whatever that you can put on top of your pancake. And you will learn some that I'm going to teach you over here in this class. Maybe you can see better. The, the picture looks a lot better here. Also, something that's a lot cheaper than pure maple syrup is um, they have all these like Palermo has this all fruit. It's like a, a jelly or something. You can just add a little water, for, warm water to it and mix it up. Or heat it for a few seconds and it makes a nice syrup and it's a lot cheaper than maple and it's tasty with strawberry and whatever. It, as the class goes by, you're going to find out that that syrup that we use as a pancake syrup is just a sugar that is going to be bad for you, for diabetes, and a lot of other different things that you can get. Okay, and another healthy breakfast. You can have the, uh, the juice, but I'd rather have the orange itself, itself eat it, the whole orange, and just leave the juice for something else. If you're going to eat the juice, drink the juice, don't add any sugar or anything, but try to eat the fruit the way they are and no liquid with your meals. And it's a lot better. Your stomach is going to be eating, I mean, working better. Because when you put drink in your stomach, the stomach has to let the liquid go out first and then start working with whatever you put in there. So there you have bread, and you're going to have all that information there too. And I brought a lot of stuff there so you can have it with you. But you can have bread, and then if you get a butter or everything, get butter that is healthy. There's one that I have there. Can you, can you have me the butter that we have inside there so they can just look at it from far away? Called Earth Balance. Yeah. Earth Balance. Yeah. Yes, Earth Balance is a real, real good one. That's I like that one because it's no uh, casing there. It's really not no animal at all, and it's good. It tastes good. Okay, let's see what else. I know they have healthy breakfast. Like I say, a lot of fruits. If you eat a lot of fruit, you are on your way. And that's why we have to take advantage of the place that we live here because we don't have the same fruit all year round. Like if, if we eat at the season. When we have a lot of melons and things that I just eat a lot of melons because it is not good to be eating the same thing every day, every day, every day, every day because your body needs a lot of different vitamins. And everything that God creates is in different things and then you're going to need to be different, right? a variation of all kinds of stuff, all kinds of fruits. Now, all healthy breakfast. Very sad to say that it is not good at all. It's not good at all. But there's a lot of people that they just go buy the coffee place, they get coffee and the donut and that's it. And they just get high, but when that thing goes up, up, up the body, it, they just go psh, down. And you're just killing yourself. You're just calling diabetes. You're just calling to get a lot of illness in you. And the Lord never asks you to it, It's not even the sugar, the honey, if you want to eat the honey. But He never tells you to drink, eat, or things like that. No. And they, that kill you. Really, that kill you. Those things are really, really bad for you. And we have to choose. And everything that we have inside our body is because we choose to do it. Sometimes we say the the taste is not good, taste the taste is bad, but it's a choice. You have to make a choice that you like what you're eating. And if you get used to that, you're gonna be happy because. It's, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel completely different. And I can tell you by experience, too. Can you imagine a breakfast that is bacon, pancake with butter? <laughs> then those things over there are a, some kind of salami or whatever. Sausages. Sausages, that's what it is. 
And then if they have something over here, they, they put water in there too. They have, yeah, I have fruit. I'm eating my fruit. Yes, I'm eating fruit. But look at my fruit, it's full of chocolate. Yeah. And then full of the cream on the top over there. So you eat that and you're going to end up with, if you don't get diabetes, then you're going to get heart problems. And that is one side that the Seventh-day Adventists stand up because the Segun, I mean Segun, I was going to talk to you in Spanish. <laughs> According to the records, and you can check on that on the internet if you want to, the Seventh-day Adventists are the lowers in heart problems because we follow the diet that the Lord gave us. And we do not eat any of that thing over there that you see. Pork is not on our diet. And when you see that, the, how you call that? Bacon, bacon, right? Bacon is just fat, fried fat. And you're just getting that into your body, and then your veins are going to just get like this, like I told you last week. <laughs> yes. Then you can have a heart attack, and that's it. Look at my breakfast. And that's not the, uh, it's, that is very common. <clears throat> Eggs, sausages, whatever it, uh, what those things are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You see the eggs over here too? And yes, I have tomatoes. I have one slice of tomato there. I get my vegetables. But everything is meat, 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 meat. So and saturated fat. Yes, very, very saturated fat. And that is killing us. And we don't want that to happen. So that is very unhealthy. Here is another unhealthy one. I've never seen beans for breakfast. Sorry. <laughs> Baked beans and eggs. Yeah. I brought something there about the eggs, so I believe so. Um, if I didn't, you would have it soon. But so you know about the eggs and why. It's not that the seven day Adventists don't not eat eggs. We do eat eggs. But the vegetarian that turn into vegan don't eat anything that have to do with animals. So eggs is part of our of what I'm teaching you because I'm teaching you vegan and you can I'm gonna give you the substitution for eggs so you can use it in any way in any way that you want to and don't have to eat it like that. And it's so many so many good things to eat, so many good ones that we don't even care about those things. After you learn how to eat good, and you see what you were eating before, they say, I can believe it. I can believe it. Even though they used to taste really good, but they say, it's unbelievable. That is just, think about your body. Think, uh, uh, look inside you when you're eating and see what is my body crying or saying when you put those things inside. Some of the food that we eat, our body don't even recognize it. And what happened? They just keep going around and around and around and around and around and around and around. And then finally they stop in one place. And that's how you get some tumors, or you get this, and cancer, and all that kind of stuff. And it's really bad. When she says to listen to your body, I can attest to that because after not eating you know, meat or like eggs for so long, and I just craved an egg, and I even got a good egg that was Eglin's best with no hormones and all that. Well, I ate two of them, and in a half an hour I felt sick to my stomach, uh, because I just wasn't used to eating that stuff. So even when you eat, if you don't eat meat for a while, and then you go ahead and you try to eat meat, it, it just really tears your stomach all up. Because it's okay, uh, this is going to be a reading uh, thing. So can you read it for me, please? Breakfast. The first step in your weight and cholesterol management program is learning how to eat a good breakfast. 
The combination of caffeine, white flour, and sugar sends a flood of insulin into the system. Did you understand that very clear? Yes. yes. Okay, let's keep going. Blood sugar levels instantly rise, only to drop dramatically two hours later. The normal pancreas, through its sugars regulating hormones, is able to keep the body's blood sugar levels in balance. But when it is incessantly abused by meal skipping and snacking on undesirable foods, the pancreas literally loses its capacity to respond. At first, through exhaustion, it panics and produces too much insulin, and eventually it goes on strike. In reality, I would like for you, every time that you eat, and the next time that you sit down to eat, think about those organs that are working, waiting for the food that you put in there. What are they saying? Are they satisfied with whatever you put in there? Or are you hurting them? And the thing is that we kind of feel okay, and sometimes we eat some kind of food, and we feel kind of nauseated, we feel bad or whatever, but we blame something that they put on the food. And that place I'm not gonna eat over there anymore because they put in something over there that is killing me. No, it is what you are eating that is killing us. We're killing our bodies to pleasure our tongue. Right, right. Overburdened, it becomes a defective regulator, ultimately failing to produce utilizable insulin. Thus, hypoglycemia, the exact opposite of diabetes, is often the forerunner of diabetes. Yes, and then I have a lot of people that think that they are hypoglycemic, and in the morning, they start eating the donut and everything else because they need it, I need it, I need it. See, and, and I know very well because my husband is one of them. I, I'm, I'm vegetarian vegan, but not my husband. He just goes to all that stuff, no that kind of meal that's over there, but they're sweet. He's crazy about that, those things. Hypoglycemic symptoms may include headaches, drowsiness, crankiness, lightheadedness, even tremors and blackouts in severe cases. For some, simply eating a good breakfast will eliminate these symptoms entirely. Right. When we think that we getting sick because we eating just something very light in the morning, like maybe a piece of bread and coffee or whatever, and then at lunchtime, oh, I just like because I don't have the time. But when we come home, we eat a big, big meal and then we sit down and watch TV, or we're just so tired because we've been eating and working hard and then eating so much that when you eat a lot, you just go sleep. And then you just go sleep with your belly full, your stomach full, and that's when problems start. Because the problems start because your stomach have to keep working, 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 but at the same time, the brain is working, working, because I want to rest, I want to rest, I want you to rest, but I have to keep everybody going, everybody going, and that is, con I mean, are you saying? Contradictory. Oh. Huh? Contradictory. Contradicting each other, and then something happened with your body. When you get up in the morning, you are so tired, you think that, you were working the whole night, but no, you were not working, your body was working, and then he had to do a lot more because now he had to be starving until tonight again, starving, starving, starving. If you do the opposite, you will have a very happy life. If you quit that night meal, just a light one, a light one, and in the morning, the best food of the day, the breakfast, then you'll be very happy. Breakfast. This is what more or less what it's supposed to be. A slice of whole wheat grain bread. If you eat in the white bread, you just not eating good. Let's say you're simple. Okay? The whole wheat bread is the one that have all and I put a lot of things over there too so you know all the things that is in the bread that you can um, that is good for your body. 
And then, uh, usually South Africa, if you choose the bread that have oh, um, a lot of seeds in there, a lot, especially if, the, if you have the, the one with, No, it's the one that is used for uh, that we use it for meat for for eggs like, instead of egg. Flaxseed, yeah, flaxseed with clean. You come and help you a lot because that keep you moving everything that you have in your body. And at the same time, has a lot of antioxidants and things that you need on your body. Okay, breakfast, one tablespoon of nut butter. Let me tell you, the peanut butter that we eat is a lot better if you make your own peanut butter. Just grind it. All public sell the peanut butter that they made themselves over there, in the, over the counter, on the little thing like this. There's nothing in there. If the peanut butter that you buy, the fat goes, the, the oil goes on the top and the, the other one is in the bottom, then some of them are good, some of them are not good. But the one that you just grind it yourself or somebody else grind it for you, that you don't add anything, no salt, no nothing, that is the peanut butter or butter, nut butter that you can eat. There is all kind of nut butter, nut butter, roasted walnut, roasted hazelnut, dried roasted cashew, and all of that you can do it at home. You don't have to buy that, that they put a lot of things over there so they don't go bad. You just make whatever you need because whatever they put in, the, in every food that you buy, whatever they put in there to keep it going for month and month, it's just going to hurt you because it's, your body do not recognize that. So it's better for you to do it yourself at home if you can do it. You can buy some nut butters with um, that are in a jar and everything that are all natural. And the right. And salt and all that in. But if you start eating natural peanut butter after a while, and if you ever go back to eating Jif or any of those, it's yeah. like a mouthful of grease. It's so full of hydrogenated oils and, and uh, sugars and everything else that are really bad. And hydrogenated trans fat oils. Are Right. No, just look at the ingredients. It's not peanut butter. It's not peanuts. It's just a lot of things that they put over there. So I'm putting all that stuff inside my body. And I love peanut butter. Another breakfast is the, the cereals. Cereals, yes, okay. Some of them are good. But you can make your own granola at home. I have a lot of recipes for different kinds of granolas that you can make it one day, one Sunday, one day, one evening, whatever, and then you have granola for the whole week or for two weeks. You don't have to put any ingredient over there to make it last forever. And it is whatever you want to eat. It's whatever you choose to put in there, not whatever somebody else is putting in there. You know your body. You know what not you like and what not you need, what kind of vitamins. So you put those things in there. And this, that's going to help a lot more. Now, the fruit. The most common citrus fruits are, of course, oranges, grapefruits, and tangerines. The whole fruit eating whole, cut up or blended in a smoothie, is preferable to the juice alone. So it's a lot better, instead of having a glass of orange juice that you know is being processed, get your orange and just peel it and eat it, and that's it. And it's a lot better. Your stomach is going to feel so good and your body is going to say, thank you, thank you. And then it's going to respond to you the way that you want the stomach to respond. That's because when you drink the juice by itself, the fiber's gotten out of it and the juice is very high glycemic on its own. But if you eat the whole fruit, you're getting the fiber and it cuts down and it right. brings the glycemic. And they, even though they, they don't say it, they say no, but they do put sugar in there. There's a lot of sugar, and that's what we're trying to avoid, sugar. Just get the natural one, the one that comes with the fruits. Keep going. Choose from what is available fresh and in season. Apples, strawberries, pears, peaches, apricots, pineapples, blueberries, grapes, raspberries, banana, etc. 
One half to one cup of cut up fruit or berries equals one serving. Right. And the, the banana has a lot of sugar, and that's why they say that we should not eat a lot of banana at the same time. But it, it, but it's because it, the sugar that is in there, but it's natural sugar. It's a sugar. But we eat, we should eat the fruit, all these different ones, because that's what we need. Remember, I told you last time that my nails were uh, getting broken and just really bad. That's because I was not eating fruit. At the place I was, I was not eating any fruit at all. And I noticed, and that's the only way that I get my vitamins then. Then the, the different kind of milk. Please choose from skim milk, nut milk, soy milk. If you don't eat dairy products, you will, of course, choose the soy or nut milk. If you do eat dairy products, please choose from the low-fat varieties. Okay, here in one of the classes, I'm going to teach you how to make your uh, almond milk. Uh, and you can make it and uh, drink it at home or whatever, but you can buy those uh, kind of milk at the grocery store. And they don't last too long, but just they have it in different sizes. And, but they are good. I don't know if you have tried the soy milk or the almond milk. They had a rice milk, and the coconut milk, I don't, I don't drink it like that. That's just to cook and make the different things. But the coconut milk is, I like coconut milk, we cook the coconut milk. Okay, now that I told you all that stuff and a lot more to come that I'm going to be telling you, sometimes you're going to be scared, right? We're going to be thinking, but what am I going to do? What is that I'm doing? I'm getting into a big problem. It's better not to know anything and then keep eating, right? No, it's not good. <laughs> Fear come, but we have our creator. He was the one that created us. And he said, do not fear for I'm with you. So he is there with us. If you have any kind of fear, Think about Jesus, all the things that he went through. But we go through a lot too, but we have him that is on our side. We just talk to him, and he's there. And you know that whatever church you go, whatever, you know that you can talk to your Jesus, to Jesus, because he's there with us all the time. So he says, do not fear, for I am with you. So he's the one that keeps me going all the time. And let me tell you this, last night I was talking to my sister, and then she was telling me, eh, I sent you some information, let me email, letting you know what we are doing as a family. We live in different parts of the United States, the, the eight brothers and sisters left, and yet my mom and dad passed away. But we are looking forward to that day when we can see Jesus again. I mean, we're really looking for, and we don't want to miss anything. We just want to be ready. And my sister told me, I sent you an email because I want to tell you that we, all of us, are wearing something like this. They have one that is yellow. They all are wearing one yellow. And then I say, but what is that for? She said, because every time you look at it, that reminds you that you are walking with Jesus. So that reminds you that whatever you're doing, Jesus is there with you. Every time you look at it, so I say, oh, I have a, a red one. I'm going to wear that one. So that's why I'm wearing this one tonight. Because I told her, yes, that's a good idea. I'm going to do it because I want to be reminded that I'm going to be walking with Jesus every day, every moment of my life. See you next week. <laughs> yes. Now, in reality, I want you to think that you are not yourself. Whatever decision you make on the things that you're going to eat, Jesus is going to be there with you. Okay, now we're going to start with the cooking. I cook a lot of stuff before you get here during the daytime. So we can go fast, so we don't have to spend the whole time over here. So we're going to go with 
The first recipe that is mango. Okay, the mango is. How many of you know this? What is this? Plantain. Plantain. Do you know how to eat it? 